Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world, not just his house, like I said in the last video. Uh, and in the last video, we built uh, Stampy's Hot Buns, and it was a fun, quick little build. And uh, we're going to have another quick little one today, it was just a one shot video. Uh, but I'm actually here in my Stampy download seed. This is where I'm uh, this is where I'm building stuff to verify that it is exactly where it is needs to be and is exactly right before I give you guys uh, instructions on it. And as you can see down here, uh, I've completed the pathway. Uh, so this is going to be in an upcoming video. Uh, I've got the uh, bridge here and the pathway over on the island and the uh, basic location of the uh, what do you call it? Lighthouse is kind of there, so uh, that's going to be coming up uh, soon. I'd look forward to. Uh, so for the purposes of today's video, what we're going to do is uh, we're not going to focus on any of this terrain here today. Uh, for right now, I were, <laughs> if, I'm sorry if this isn't, isn't exciting at all, but we are going to build the fruit stand. We're going to build the uh, the melon moment fruit stand uh, as part of this. Uh, what we're going to build. The, this is just um, what I'd like to do is is kind of knock out this general area of um, terrain and get this section of the world right because this comes up you know he, he you see this a lot and uh, I think it's uh, fair to say that everybody probably really wants to have this path done um, they want to know where the bridge goes and where to kind of put the lighthouse as far as far as this area goes so I think doing these uh, shops here which this is the last one this is the as you can see just kind of the shell of the, uh, the milk bar uh, just kind of sitting here, which already has a pig in it for some reason. I had a cow in it the other day, which I thought was really convenient, but I guess he's disappeared. Uh, and this terrain I've worked out as best I can. This this terrain right here, this is the worst to try to figure out. There's not a lot of really good videos of this section. Mostly it's very dark or from very far away. Uh, when you're looking for something that took place after uh, the milk bar was built because uh, this this is not how the terrain looks when it first uh, spawns stampy seed so this is an area uh, where if you do have stampy's download seed if you do have the seed you're gonna have to make changes uh, adjustments to make it look uh, like this but as you can see I've got the the path this first path already all the way down here and uh, oh it's becoming nighttime I guess I didn't shut that off uh, and I've got the path that started uh, let's kind of go on this way and yes we will get to some of the fun land uh, as soon as I can and um, I, I guess one of the questions I have for you guys which you can you leave, leave the answer in the comments is let's see how do I phrase this we have a choice if you or I should say you have a choice if you oh Harry is running up and down the steps what in the world did you see that hold on I hate to interrupt the video, but that was that was like crazy. She's like running up and down the steps like a crazy. Per oh, did she, did she get locked? Did you get locked out, Harriet? No, well, she did not get locked out. She did not leave her keys somewhere. Okay. Anyway, that was really funny. Um, just gonna have a quick nap while I talk to you. Uh, so, if you've got your Stampy or whatever seed you used, uh, inevitably you have to decide some major things like. Do you want to blow up a mountain or do you want to build the thing that's supposed to be there somewhere else or you know how much work do you want to put into making exactly like Stampy's World or how important is it to you so I guess the question to me or from me to you is how accurate do you need the placement of the fun land to be now if you're doing Stampy's download seed that's that's easy peasy I can I can show you right where it goes I already have it worked out in fact I've got kind of a a placement for where the sign is going to go. Um, I've figured out where the entrance of this, you know, this is like that tunnel uh, that, that goes, which is no longer used at all, but, you know, it comes out down here. And, well, that's it. I haven't done anything else uh, over here. And this is this is the uh, body of order he talked about that um, needs to be, this needs to be all flattened out, you know, filled in with, with, uh, land and over here over here's the creeper coaster uh hill right over here just in case you're curious that's what that will be but anyway so let me know personally on my stampy world on my stampy build world i would personally be content with just having it somewhere because it not having it necessarily exactly in the same spot or even near the same spot um because you're talking about trying to change 
you know, this terrain all the way over to there. And that's that's a lot of work, which may or may not be be worthwhile. But on the, the other hand, uh, he is going to keep building stuff in this direction. Uh, so I imagine he's probably going to be, he's pretty close. He's, he's probably over in this vicinity nowadays um, as far as uh, building uh shops and uh you know all the things that he's been building over in this area so i'm wondering i'm kind of curious if we want to hold off on doing this part until we see where he goes with that because that might kind of help if he flattens out more area that makes it easier to build uh terrain and so forth because i really i am really curious to know where he's going to go uh with the shops once he gets kind of over to this point i'm just not clear on what his vision is so you know at some point he's going to run into the fun land so I, i'm sure he doesn't want to get too involved you know get too close to that uh which would mean he'd probably have to go off in that direction i don't know i'm just getting way too far ahead i realize that but so that's something i'm fighting with about in my mind about how to structure these how this video series as to you know which part to do first and what so I'm inclined to leave the fun land alone for now. That's my that's my first instinct. And and it's to, just to concentrate on the stuff that we know is there and it's easy and it's right here. And uh well easy is subjective, but you know, we can you know, we'll eventually get to where this land terrain here for doing the uh rocket and the uh, balloon and uh, I mentioned in the other video there's this bit of land here that we need to address uh that you know there's more additional water kind of coming out of here from the farm which as you can see i have not i actually planted the farm in my uh, stampy download seed but um and you know definitely are going to do this soon what am i getting at well let's 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 just think about where we want to go so my, my proposal i guess what i want to say is my proposal is this we concentrate on the town and the area around the house for now we keep trying to move in the direction that Stampy is building uh, as far as these buildings go, you know, literally in the direction like where he's going to place them. And the fun land, uh, I have a feeling I'm going to see a videos, start seeing videos that are going to let us know how much stuff is going to get built close to the fun land. And if so, maybe there'll be some landmarks there. They'll be easy uh, to recreate and so forth so for now I, I I'm going to just stick to the town which it's gonna probably disappoint some people uh, because I know some it's fairly easy to build and I'm, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of that have already gone through and, and built most of it um, but of course we are still gonna do the lighthouse the bridge this all this terrain here uh, we will do the train for the rocket and all that like I said and um, make us make this area look uh, as as good as it can and of course we got to finish up Harrison 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 Hill and so forth over there but all right I think I've babbled on but you, you, I think you get my point hopefully um, and we need to switch over to the builder world and uh, begin here oh uh, but before we go the the terrain that you're about to see in the builder world if I recall correctly we just sort of um we kind of stopped the path somewhere around this maybe this area we just sort of randomly stopped um and basically for this video just make sure you have enough terrain flattened out up here to put this uh you know the uh fruit stand in uh what you can do is if you've got you should have terrain that looks like this coming off of this path where there's these two little points coming out and there's this and i think what i ended up doing was just telling you well just kind of keep this going for a little while and if you have uh, just bring it out like 50 blocks uh, should be should get you in you know the right spot it should bring you right out to about uh, somewhere around in this vicinity it doesn't have to be perfect yet we'll, we're going to come back to it and do the terrain so this is what we're going to be, be building today uh, is the, the uh, melon moment fruit stand and uh, so let's get to it let's go over to uh, the builder's world and get to it and here we are in the builder world looks a little different doesn't it <laughs> it looks so 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 just barren compared to well actually this isn't that much different um now for for you i'm not sure how far along you've taken your path um this part here uh what you're going to want to do is to, uh, that that probably is too long actually as i'm looking at it right now 
Maybe, maybe. Um, we don't really need an exact dimension right now, but the building itself uh, is going to be on the 29th. It's going to start at the 29th block from this point, from this little uh, elbow, this little corner here. Uh, so what we're going to do is just count that off, and then we're going to start there building in with some uh, some oak here. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And I'm go in one block, and I'm just going to put a piece of oak there. There should be, there should be two blocks um, empty between these two structures. Uh, so that worked out well. And uh, so let's see. So this is the corner of it. And the whole thing is going to be 10 wide. Uh, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's fill that in. Um, so this front part where the seating area, uh, this is going to be 7 long. So this is we already got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you can see in my world, I just you know, filled in things as, as needed to make this work. Uh, so that should be, let me recount that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, so let's just connect that up. Uh, where'd that go? Whoa. What? That was weird. It's like I, it's like I, I crash landed there for a second. Okay. So then this area should be five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, by uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I'm sorry, eight, because it was ten wide, right? So let's just take this out, and it's all going to get filled with cobblestone. This is another nice, nice quick build, which it doesn't really go in, it doesn't really come back to this much at, at all, um, but that's okay. It is, it is part of his world, and we're going to put it in here. We're going to make sure it's in the right spot, and we're going to make sure it's built uh, correctly it's fairly easy to figure out um, but um, this will be you know, I'm just gonna get rid of these couple of plants that are kind of standing around here okay so this front area well, let's let's finish up this front area before we get uh, into doing the actual where the stand goes uh, we're gonna need some fences uh, to make some chairs and right on the corner we're gonna put a fence there we're gonna put two right in the middle and again one on the corner and the chairs are uh, oak stairs there's a double one in the middle and a single one. You have to leave you have to leave this much room, otherwise you can't do this. The uh the arms of the of the little chairs. Uh since they they essentially do take up an entire block, you have to have two blocks in between to do that. So that's why uh that's the way it is. It, originally oops. <laughs> um when he originally built it, I think he had had it kind of off centered and there was only one in the middle, but you know, in the end he this is this is how the current configuration is. Uh, so then right in front of the, um, let me just turn around here, right in front of the each of the seats is a half half slab of oak. So, you know, this is going to be double wide there, of course. Uh, and then right in front of that, there's going to be just a line of fences with some, oh, I need some spruce. Uh, he actually chose spruce planks. Spruce planks. That was kind of hard to say uh, for this here. Uh, decided to go with something different, and I need... Some stone pressure plates, which are kind of like the, I don't know, <laughs> just kind of like little um, or places to sit. You know, it's like where the food goes, like on a little plate there. Oh, I missed a, uh, there we go. Okay, so that's the seating area, and there should be two blocks open here, which is correct. Uh, there should be torches on, like, the second to the last block on each side. So just leave one block open uh, and there. Uh, okay, so that's that's all the lighting is there. So right here, we're going to start building the structure. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm being watched by these chickens over here. Uh, so this is going to be another seven uh, long here. So let's see, how are we going to best do this? Let's just put them right on the surface. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, this is the side, and it's going to step up. Uh, so you just, Oops, excuse me, tree. Maybe I'll just do it from this side. Um, so just leave one empty on each row and then on the top one. So there should be three rows of that. And this top one is going to be three high. Originally, these were fences going up <clears throat> for, excuse me, for the side. So let's just do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, 
uh, just make like kind of little steps and the top one you're going to add three more so that total one is is six high in the middle it should be six high okay so we're going to need let's see let's do we're going to need some stairs back here um we put stairs here and uh, i need something to fill in here put stairs on oops <laughs> put some stairs on top of there and then we just need a row of oak planks right here on top of that just so it's just flattened out there and uh so then here going down are all the you know colorful shelves and so forth uh let's see so we're gonna dig, need to dig out uh this bottom row here and the rest you can leave uh this is the only row where the, you know it kind of gets you know down into the into the ground the color uh, colored wool speaking of which uh let's see let's clear out my inventory and grab let's see we need what uh red orange yellow and green um just for the purposes of this so just so we know where what goes where uh it's gonna go red green i think orange next orange and then uh, yellow and then it repeats red green orange yellow okay so that that way we know uh, which colors kind of go up so basically we just have to build little blocks uh, like this and up here like this uh, so this top row is going to be colored wool here and that's just that's correct here uh, so he actually um he actually did fill this all in as he built it so you can decide what you want to do so I'm just going to do one color at a time here and just uh, just duplicate what I've done whoops <laughs> where's my orange here we go uh, da -da -da. so it's just you know it's uh, once you have that block skip that one just do you know three back then two and then one and uh, it's a very simple pattern here uh, so I'm just going to keep doing that and uh, see what's next red two whoops one or uh, let's see yellow uh, back to orange green here and then looks like we've got red uh finished up with the red here just build that up Oop, a little too far back there we go and there we go all right so that's the basic uh structure of the stand we're going to add some uh little top part here with some fences and so forth uh, let's do that. Let's grab some fences since we've got these colors here. It'll be uh, good to get this done now. Uh, so the fences are going to start from this first block. Uh, and they're going to go up. Uh, they're going to go up as high as this one. So we're going to add five onto this uh, block. So that's already got one, two, three, four, five. And then just connect these fences to this top block here uh, and then there should be one more uh, fence right there uh, on that one and uh, each side is exactly the same so this goes up here two three four five there and just bring that out and there we go and we just do the exact same thing to this side and <laughs> it's always tricky stacking these fences three four five yeah, be really careful with these things, otherwise they'll put them on the wrong side. Put that one there, this one here, two, three. And I don't know if you noticed in, the, in whoops, too high. When I was uh, in my Stampy's download seed, there's actually a red flower that, oh, and I wish I wrote that down. I didn't have that one. I think it, hmm, there's a, there's a lovely, jubbly rub love petal flowered doodle that lives like, um, I think it lives like right here next to this in this area but uh, we can work that out later he's got several flowers around and we don't have to get too crazy about that uh, let's see so that's oh and so the top then oh we want to connect these fences up at the top here we want to connect right along the top I'm going to do all that we're we're building it as if we're like actually have to you know support the structure of what's coming up you know, above it but that's you know 
it makes a little more sense from an engineering standpoint to build it this way. But in Minecraft, of course, it does not matter whatsoever. Uh, so this uh, is a top is just alternating bands of uh, red and uh, yellow. Uh, starting with red on this side and just build it straight across. And then it's going to be end up being one down as well like that. But let's, um, well, I guess we can do it that way. Um, maybe, I don't know. I'm going to do it this way. I'm just going to kind of go across. And then I'll do the, the little part that sticks out on the bottom. So when on the last, oops, <laughs> no, none of it is orange. On the last row should be, uh, should be yellow. So we'd see we've got a couple of more here. And red, yeah, so it should be yellow on the last one. There we go. So now we just need to kind of go along here and alternate the yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, eh, yellow, red, and there we go. All right, so there, so that should be, that's that. So it should have, so it should look like this where there's fences uh, all along the inside like this. Uh, this this changed a little bit from the initial design, but this is how it is currently. Uh, if you saw the original videos where he built it, it's slightly different. I think he had something coming down here in the back originally, but uh, this is how it ended up being. Uh, a couple of notes for torches. Um, torches here go on the inside top of this tall, tall part here. And they go on the sides uh, on this one and that one and same on the other side so it's not the second first one but it's this, it's kind of the middle of the three steps like that uh, and that's really it for for lighting in here that's 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 the extent of the lighting he's got um, okay so it looks like we're about ready to just kind of um, load up the inventory here so uh, let's get this right and uh, get this started here. So let's clear out the inventory uh, that we have here. And we are going to need uh, probably more than I can fit on here. But uh, let's see. We're definitely going to need some wheat, sugar cane, nether wart. Uh, I just believe one of these. Um, I know there's an apple. Um... This was the, this was done before with carrots and stuff and potatoes, so he he probably could have would have used those if we uh, were building that today. Uh, let's see, where, where's my watermelon? Oh, watermelon. Um, let's see. Well, let's see. Let's start with that. We got watermelon, nether wort, wheat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, the mushrooms. The mushrooms. Where are they? Under decorations, aren't they? That doesn't make much sense. Uh, and then let's grab an item frame. So let's do let's do all the item frame ones, and then we'll go back. and There's a couple that have pumpkins and and uh, melons on them. Uh, so let's see, right here. There's one here, and in that one is going to go a uh, brown mushroom. You can barely see when you put it in there. Uh, so let's see what's next. Um, next one is here. And that one's going to be a piece of wheat. Uh, one below that. Yeah, there's going to be one here and one here. So this one is going to be... Oops. No, no, wait. This one is... That one's supposed to be nether wart. Oh, I lost my hold on print. Item frame. That one is supposed to be nether wart. It's supposed to be like raspberries or something like that. Uh, this one is wheat. That one is wheat there. Uh, so one, two, three, the fourth one is red mushroom down here. Sorry, I'm just looking at my, my list that I wrote uh, prior to this video. Uh, let's see. So the fifth one goes right in the middle here. And that one's going to be a watermelon slice. Where is it? That right there. And the next one is going to go up here. And that is cactus. Oh, I didn't grab a cactus. Uh, I'll have to come back to that one because I don't have much any room in my inventory. We'll, we'll we'll come back to that. So that's going to be that's number six. Number seven down below here is uh, brown mushroom. Here, number eight 
up here. I'm, I'm saying numbers. These are numbers that are on my piece of paper, so I apologize. Uh, this is going to be an apple here. And this one is going to be, is one right here below it. And this is going to be, this is the red dye. Can't quite remember what that one was supposed to represent. Obviously, you don't need to eat uh, red dye. Uh, so this one is going to be sugar cane. Sugar cane goes here, like that. Uh, so that's on that red one there. And let's see. So the next one is going to be on this one. Oops, let me get back to the item frame there. Should be one there and there. Uh, so that is going to be what's in here. Okay, so we've got a red mushroom on that one. And on the bottom is another apple. Okay, put another apple down there. Okay, so we got, let's see, go back to the item frame. We've got one here, here. And one up top there. And let's see, what are they? That is wheat, nether wart, and wheat again. Okay, so wheat here. More nether wart down here. Wheat again up there. And the only thing we're really missing is the, um, what was it, the red dye? No, cactus. That's what we were missing. That was pretty good, all things all all things considered uh cactus which would be over here let's grab these while we're here uh cactus right there all right so cactus goes in that that one right there on the top of the first yellow strip so there we go uh you can get a good look at that if that's helpful for you, you can freeze that frame it's always kind of good to do i wanted to show you these first because once you get the melons in you can't really it starts to get hard to see um what what the other items are in the item frame you have to kind of have to walk around it to, to really see uh, so, let's see, melon. Melon's gonna go here. Pumpkin's gonna go on the ground in front of it. Uh, let's see, melon. It's gonna go here. And we've got pumpkin there. And this one's a melon right there. Uh, that rose full. So the top one here is a, uh, jack-o'-lantern there. Uh, pumpkin, whatever. Jack lantern, I guess it's not jack lantern. It's a pumpkin. Jack lanterns are are lit up, of course. And next to that, um, oops, <laughs> I only have two things to choose from. Uh, okay, it's gonna put a melon there, and jack a pumpkin here, and a melon there. There we go. Uh, and just looking, that's filled up all the spaces. Yep, that's good. Okay, let's just take a quick walk around this thing. We need to put a couple of signs on here uh, for Employee of the Month and for the uh, building itself. Uh, okay, so I'm looking, that's looking good. Uh, let's grab a sign here. Here we are. Now this sign to sort of point right at the fence here. This is on the left side here. Um, it's going to end up sort of floating like this, which is kind of cool. Um, so... Uh, let's put the sign up here, and it's going to say Employee of the Month, L for Lee. And it skips the first line, uh, and it puts it uh, on the on the bottom three lines, and you can see there uh, the different types of capitalization that he's going for. And he does use the word of instead of duh, as in the duh month, as in did in the last video. Uh, the last, uh, in the kicky, no, in the, in the uh, Sampy's Hot Buns. There we go. Uh, and then the sign for the whole shop goes right here on the corner, uh, and it just says Melon Moment, like that, on the second line. Uh, and then there's a, so Melon is capitalized, Moments is not, and then there's a period uh, at the end for those striving for authenticity. Okay, let me just hop up here, take a look at our handiwork. This is good. This looks perfect. Uh, again, sorry, it's just not a very exciting build, but everything's got to be built, so um, I don't want to skip anything and I don't want to just say like, ah, you can probably figure out how to build it. You know, that's just not really fair to say. Um, so everything's working out good there. So, uh, like I said, back here, this is, I'm not sure what your world looks like, but mine's a bit of a mess. If you're using my seed, then you're having to blow up a lot of stuff over here to flatten this out. Um, yeah. So over here, I, that's just kind of what I thought. I didn't really go too far with this. Um, and from this, this is this is what I told you about. There's these kind of like you know two little blocks that stick out here, and then there's this this one, and this this just take this all the way out. Um, the <laughs> these little notches here are not there for any particular reason. I think they just ended up that way. Um, 
take that out to about the 50 mark and that's that's where it's going to actually probably it basically sort of stops and goes that way for towards the uh, you know doing the the bridge and over the apparently my lighthouse is going to be over here somewhere i guess so i'm going to have to have some fun fooling with that but so depending on what your world looks like uh you definitely want to to flatten out uh in preparation for the next uh section what we're going to do is is i think we're going to do we're going to do terrain here uh and that will help us have the correct amount of space to work with over here but you know to put the milk bar in and um you know there'll, there'll be some steps going down here uh so that that's coming up um that's that's basically what i'm working on here i'm just kind of trying to get flatten everything out i don't really care about all these holes and stuff down here i'm just going to cover it all up uh with grass and so forth and i'm going to need to expand the water that's uh currently hiding over here we're going to need to bring that away well i'm going to need to put it all over the place uh when the time comes um, but I'd really like to get this section done and that would really, really, really make me happy just to, you know, be able to kind of sit over here in this section and look around and say, wow, you know what? This looks looking a lot like Stampy's uh, lovely world. It's a lot of work, but uh, you guys have done a lot so far, so I'm pretty sure you're in for the, the whole ride. No problem. So I am Darwin68. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.